people who've actually slept with their step-sibling or sibling. How did it happen, and how was your relationship affected? Story 1. Well, this is something I'm reluctant to talk about, but it might help someone, so who knows. I, a female, slept with my younger stepsister. In GL terms, she acted as the top and I as the bottom. We have a four and a half year age gap, but beyond that, I don't feel right about disclosing our ages at the time. I was the one who first crossed the vague line of what is and isn't okay to do with family. I taught her all I knew about spicy time over some time, though not physically. Slowly, I felt our relationship changing. She started asking me to join her in small, naughty behaviors, like flashing cars that drove past our house. Then she wanted us to do dares, like sitting naked in the garage out in the open for a certain amount of time. I confessed to her one day about spicy acts I'd engaged with with our female dog. She asked me to show her, and even though I felt it was wrong, I had already done more than I ever should have. That day, we both engaged in bestiality together. The memories are somewhat jumbled now, since I've mentally blocked most images. This is not where things ended, however. For our ages, it wasn't seen as odd nor frowned upon in my family for two girls to bathe together. My little sister wanted to play house, except with her as the baby and me as the mommy, since by this time I had already started to develop breasts. I felt inclined to allow it, even knowing it was wrong, since I had taught about those things anyway. Eventually, all this led up to her roughly fingering me, telling me I would have to get used to it for when I grew up. The lines between sister and other became so blurred I didn't know what to do anymore. The tipping point came when I decided to cross the line to a point of no return. I asked my younger sister to do what we'd had the dogs do to us together multiple times now. For those who might be wondering, we nearly got caught doing this stuff several times. In exchange for her doing it to me, I told her I would do it for her. But after she had done it to me, I got worried we would be caught and told her I heard someone coming. After that, I always dodged her invitations to continue or do similar things. After a while, I told her we shouldn't do those kinds of things anymore, and I stopped. About a year after, we got put in foster care. She asked me if I wanted to start doing those things again. If I'm honest, I really was torn, because I knew we had bonded in ways that we had never bonded with anyone else. While it had been a dirty secret of ours, I did also wish we'd had that relationship again, especially in such uncertain times of feeling alone. But I told her no, that we could never do that again. I was also worried the foster parents would find out and split us apart. So in conclusion, she and I were closer than anyone else in our own forbidden world. Now, she and I are almost like strangers, since she still lives with our authoritarian cousins we were placed with. That was a really big story to start out with. I'll be honest, I didn't feel good reading that story. This isn't the story you'd see on one of those spicy sites. There was a lot of stuff about the emotions that everyone was going through there. I felt a sense of loss in reading that, like there was a space they were in before, but now they can't go back to ever again. Story 2 Growing up, I knew two sisters who would fool around at parties. One was a little older than the other, so I always assumed the younger one did it to be included, and the older one did it for attention. I knew their older sister pretty well, and she always shrugged it off because they never went further than making out and like groping. She was way more reserved than the other two, but all the girls dealt with some level of abnormal, spicy energy. It's just that for her, it was more of a shy curiosity. I knew the younger sisters well enough to end up being the one they'd call to pick them up from parties gone back bad, because they knew I always looked out for the older sister in school, and wouldn't tell their parents the trouble they got into, which eventually meant they confided in me about some things here and there, mainly with their struggle to understand guys their age and navigate the hormonal fools. Hence, why I sometimes had to pick them up from parties gone bad, meaning sausage fests where they felt uncomfortable. By the time the older of the two was graduating, I learned they actually did a whole lot more behind closed doors than just making out and light groping. They were close enough in age to have shared a bedroom and been best friends most of their childhood. And they were a lot alike, so they were inseparable. Two extremely curious girls with little understanding of spicy norms staying together and being as close as conjoined twins is a weird cocktail of hormones and naivete. So things happened over the years until it became commonplace for them and kept happening till their late teens. Honestly, to this day, they both are easily categorized as two of the most drop-dead gorgeous women I've ever personally known in my entire life. So it's almost like some strange taboo for fantasy, except that they're not exactly cliché corn craze types. I mean, they were a little loose with the spicy time between each other and obviously enjoyed showing off, but they weren't exactly 
crazy apart from that. Seriously, they both remain virgins till their late teens or early 20s, aside from fooling around with each other. It's this weird concoction of curious spicy time and vanilla reserved attitudes all in one for both of them. And it would totally seem like a contradiction until you met them. It's hard to explain. One is married with two kids and works as a makeup artist for television and movies now. And the other is a structural engineer who ended up becoming a high school math teacher because that was the kind of job she always wanted. Unfortunately, the older sister, who was far more reserved overall, ended up going through a lot and having what I'd call a mental breakdown. And she has a shaky relationship with the rest of the family now. Ooh, I was hoping they would pull through. I was really hoping that last sentence wouldn't happen. It really sounded like they moved on from what they were doing. They both seem to have great careers and what they want. I just feel bad that they couldn't completely move on. Story 3 I slept with my stepsister. She came in town to visit her dad, and when I went outside to help bring luggage in, she gave me the doomy eyes as soon as she saw me, and instantly I knew I was in trouble. For a week and a half, I kept being polite and trying to remain distant because I had been warned by my stepdad and her brother to not even look in her direction, not bring any friends over, not do anything wrong, and I had absolutely no intention of doing so. But it was the first time I had ever had anyone want me that badly, and I gave in, and we secretly got together for the remainder of the month she spent in town. We were both young and dumb and fell in love and thought we hit it well. But when they found out after she left, I got my butt beat. For a few years, they wouldn't let her visit and we kept in touch. Then after college, I moved to where she lived and we've been together ever since. 11 years now and we have a 5-year-old daughter and a 3-year-old son. Everyone is completely fine with it now and we make jokes about it all the time. Now this one seems to be the opposite of the story before. This one felt uneasy, but then it ended up great. I'm really glad everyone was fine with this. I think it was so intense at the beginning because everyone was against it. The typical forbidden fruit. Can't have it? Now you want it more. Story 4 so I have three half-sisters, and they all have half-sisters. I met her at my eldest half-sister's birthday party. Her and I are the same age. We were both 18 at the time. She is my half-sister's half-sister, so technically we aren't related. We were both a bit drunk and high on e-substance. We shared common interests, anime, manga, cars, etc. We did it on the beach, far away from the party. To this day, no one but we know that it happened. We both agreed to never talk about it. First, we were just talking. Then we started to make out. She made the first move. And well, it kind of all just went from there. Besides, it's okay if you say no chromo, right? It was really, really awkward at first. But after a few months, we began to talk over Snapchat. We haven't talked about it much, but to this day, we still talk now and then. She's now happily married with a little boy, and I'm in a great relationship with my now partner. All I can say is, if they don't want to talk about it, don't bug them over it. Just let them deal with it on their own. If they want to talk about it, be rational and accept that it happened. I kinda don't know what the big deal about this one is. They weren't related. I think this one is more on the emotional side. I wonder what kind of family they have here. Maybe people would freak out if they found out what was going on. Story 5 I knew a guy. He and his stepsister didn't grow up together. They didn't see one another often at family events. As he described it, their encounters got progressively more flirty. They mutually decided to go for it. She was eager for him, and he was too. He struggled over it. Our group of friends gave him a lot of guff as we itemized the cons. He vacillated between repulsion and desire and wasn't sure what he would ultimately do. Within a few days, he texted us a picture of stepsister written in lipstick on a female's bare chest. He freaked out after and felt really ashamed. Within a week, they were at the same family party, and she jumped on him in the bathroom. He had a pretty serious panic attack and went on some meds, Xanax. It wasn't all that serious. He settled down after they talked and decided never to do it or talk about it again. And he shared his Xanax. That was fun. Story 6. My dad's brother married my mom's sister. My parents somehow didn't really meet until several months after the wedding. My cousins and I are as close to forbidden spicy as it gets without actually crossing blood relatives. Just for fun, my siblings have a different dad than me, so I actually look more related to those cousins than I do my own siblings. I just try not to explain that to people, but it definitely is weird when it gets out. Edit. I should explain it's only weird because people get confused until they figure out it's just two sisters married two brothers. My parents are divorced now anyway, so it rarely comes up. More if we have a get-together and a newcomer mentions it's funny, I look like my cousins and my siblings and I don't look related pretty much. Story 7 
I ended up having a child with and marrying the son of my dad's long-term girlfriend. My dad and his mom had been dating for about four years when we got together. We had a child and got married. They married about six months after us, so he didn't technically become my stepbrother until after we were already married. We had known each other briefly for about two or three years before dating, but about five months before we started to date, we hung out a lot more often. Turns out we had a lot in common, and we liked each other's company. He made the first move, and I was apprehensive at first, but in the end we're all happy now. It's a joke amongst the four of us that our family tree goes straight up with no branches, even though my husband and I aren't blood related. 10 out of 10 would do it all over again. I'm on their side. They weren't technically step relatives when they got married, and I don't think their family tree goes straight. I see it as one of those infinity loops. I wonder what's going to happen to the kids when they grow up and they have to explain what's going on. Story 8 obligatory not me or even quite step sibling but still a fun story one of my dad's best friends let's call him rob was partially crazy admitted to a mental hospital briefly for running around town in tidy whities and trying to get into his ex-wife's house i grew up around this guy so it was great he's dead now though so the fun times are over anyway rob and his ex did have a daughter well his brother and his bro's wife split up at some point and they have a son rob's nephew one thing obviously leads to another and rob and his ex sister in law get together, and you guessed it, get married. So now Rob's nephew is now also his stepson, and his daughter is also now stepdaughter to her aunt. Story 9. My ex did this with her brother. They insisted they didn't, but unfortunately my friend discovered text between the brother, her boyfriend at the time, and the sister, my girlfriend at the time, and showed me. I didn't call them out for it, just dumped the girl. My friend unfortunately gossiped to everyone at work about it. They disappeared shortly after, quitting their job at the call center we all worked at and haven't heard from them since. I've seen the brother occasionally on social media, but otherwise have no idea what became of them. Story 10 not me, but my close family. My grandmother had three husbands, four children with all different dads. My mother's dad was as abusive and had been sleeping with my aunt, mom's older sister. They continued that relationship for years. My grandma divorced him and he married my aunt. So my aunt was also my step-grandma and my mother's dad was also uncle. When he finally died, I remember my mother saying, I don't want to go to his funeral, but I really think I should be there to support my step -ma. That woman has always had a warped sense of humor. I love it. Some of these stories are giving me brain-twisting headaches. If I weren't recording this and reading all of these, I'd be out with a piece of paper writing down this stuff and trying to figure out all the connections. I wonder how this stuff looks to other people's minds. I wonder how it looks to these people's minds. But I'm glad they have a sense of humor about it. Story 11 my parents are actually step-siblings. They began dating when they were teenagers, and when their parents met, they fell in love and got married, making my mom and dad step-siblings. They ended up moving in together since they were both still living with their parents, and my grandparents just let them share a room. It's always been a joke in our family that my mom is my aunt, my dad is my uncle, and my brothers are my cousins. Story 12 Slept with my former sister-in-law. Is that close enough? How'd it happen? She hated my ex-wife, her sister. My ex-wife cheated on me. We were drinking together about six months after it ended, and she said, You should smash me to get even. Relationship didn't change at all. We just know each other a little better than we used to. Both dating others now, and it's like it never happened. Story 13 dad dated a woman. He dated a lot of women, so it became normal. She had a daughter. We got drunk at a party, hooked up. Real boy meets world stuff. Then they got married, and that's when we cut it out. Then they got divorced, and I'm still not boning her anymore. Yeah, that one's kind of boring, but it's a break from all the emotional stories from the very beginning of this thing. Didn't seem like much of a deal. I wonder how the girl feels in all this situation. Does it not bother her as much either? Story 14. Mom dated a guy. Guy had a son the same age as me. We hated our parents and slept together. Had a fun time. Broke up due to him using substances and me not dealing with it. Both are married to other people and happy. We don't talk about it even though we see each other at family gatherings after our parents get married. Story 15 I was seeing a girl right after graduating high school. My dad knew her mom somehow, but she was married at the time. Didn't work out with this girl, but her mom and my dad are basically married at this point. Story 16 Two of my uncles, one from my mother's side of the family and the other of my father's side, are married to their first cousins. Oddly enough, the uncle from my mother's side is the only one who didn't get divorced, while my uncle from my father's side is the only one among his brothers, my father has a lot of siblings, whose marriage didn't end up in a divorce or a very abusive relationship. Plus, I'm pretty sure I caught two of my cousins smashing once.
Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.